Hey, real estate experts, it's time for another quiz. Do you think you have a good understanding of real estate English expressions? Then join me in this video and take a quiz to find out how good your real estate English is. And this is how it works. Choose the best word to complete each sentence. I'll give you five seconds to answer. Then keep on watching and I'll give you the correct answer. Let's see how many you can get right. Oh, and one more thing before we get started. The questions will get increasingly harder as we go on. So let's dive right in and start with question one. A potential investor just called and said they wanted to blank the property ASAP. What's the correct answer? They wanted to view the property. They wanted to watch the property or they wanted to look the property. The correct answer is they wanted to view the property ASAP. When you have a client that is interested in a property, you might want to schedule a viewing so that they can see it in person. During a viewing, the real estate agent gives the potential buyer a tour of the property. Buyers usually want to view a property before entering into negotiations regarding the purchase price. By the way, ASAP is a common acronym used in business communication and stands for as soon as possible. Let's move on to question number two. We are looking for new offices with excellent public transportation blank so that our employees don't have to take their car. What's the correct answer? With excellent public transportation ability, visibility or accessibility. And the correct answer is excellent public transportation accessibility. Accessibility describes how easily a property can be reached by different modes of transport, typically by car or public transportation. Let's move on to the next question. Demand for blank housing in the neighborhood is currently very high. What's the correct answer? Demand for multifamily housing, property housing, or building housing? And the correct answer is demand for multifamily housing in the neighborhood is currently very high. The term multifamily or multifamily housing refers to multiple separate housing units within one building or several buildings within one complex. In the US, these are also referred to as apartment buildings and in the UK as blocks of flats. Multifamily buildings are often situated in downtown locations and are either owner occupied, which means that the occupiers own the apartment they live in or rent it out to tenants. All right, let's move on to question number four. There are tons of retail stores in the vicinity, which means there is a lot of blank foot traffic streets or houses. What's the correct answer? The correct answer is foot traffic. There are tons of retail stores in the vicinity, which means there is a lot of foot traffic. The term foot traffic describes the number of pedestrians or people who either visit or walk past the retail store. The higher the foot traffic, the better the chances that you will be able to get potential customers in the door. There's one important difference to keep in mind. In the UK, the term footfall is more common. Before we move on, do us a favor and subscribe to this channel and hit the like button if you get value out of it. Also check out our course offer on our Real Estate English Academy website. Now let's get back to the quiz. 
I wasn't happy with the layout of the apartment. We might need to change the room plan, shape plan, or floor plan. What's the correct answer? We might need to change the floor plan. A floor plan refers to the architectural drawings showing the layout of the building, including the exact room sizes. When buyers look into purchasing a property, they will be curious about the layout of the space. In a build-to-suit project, the investor can determine what the floor plan should look like so that it meets the requirements of the intended use. Let's move on to the next question. In order to lease the property, we will have to put up significant blank and improve the overall quality of the property. What's the correct answer? We will have to put up significant CAPEX, OPEX, or NASDAQ. The correct answer is CAPEX. The term CAPEX is short for capital expenditure and refers to the money that a landlord or an investor spends on making improvements to properties or rental premises. Another example sentence would be it will require significant capex to comply with new environmental regulations. All right, let's move on to the next question and the last question for today. The city is revising its blank laws in a number of districts. Let's wait and see what they decide before we invest in a property. The city is revising its gardening laws, zoning laws, or pruning laws? What's the correct answer? The correct answer is it's zoning laws. The term zoning refers to regulations regarding the use of a property. Finding out about zoning restrictions is an essential aspect of a location analysis. Here's another example. We won't be able to open a restaurant on the street because it is zoned for residential use only. How many did you get right? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. See you next time.